Hey lovelies, it's your girl Nyjah. Welcome back or welcome to my channel. Um, it is Sunday, June 25th. June 26th. It is Sunday, June 26th. Um, and I just came to the water, or by the water, just to sit here and clear my head. I have a lot of things that just keep running through my head and I just need, I just needed a breather. I just needed a peace of mind. So I came here by the water. Um, I'm just, I don't know, it's just a lot of things on my, in, on my mind. I keep like going back and forth for myself about what's right what's wrong am i making the right decision am i making the wrong decision um what's fake what's real and i feel like it's it's starting to sh it's stressing me out <sighs> lord i just need a peace of mind reset gather my thoughts I felt like what better way to do it than to come by the water. It's, it just looks so peaceful over here. It's so beautiful. There's a lot of things in me that I just need to let out completely. I just let it, let it all out completely. Oh Lord. You guys are like you guys ever really battle with yourself? about what's real and what's fake like you don't know if you're getting real energy if you're getting fake energy you don't know if the, this person in your life is real or if this person's being fake or you know and, and, and what what i'm doing in life am i being real am i doing it to fit in am i doing it you know is, is it fake like i don't i don't know I just like to take this moment to like really just breathe in and just release all of the toxic and negative energy in my life or the thoughts that are in my head. It's not the it's not crazy thoughts, it's just thoughts that's like once again, what's real, what's fake, what's true, what's the truth, what's a lie? Like you don't know if a person is lying to you. You don't know if a person is being real to you. You don't know if you're being real with yourself. If you're lying to yourself. You don't know what's real and what's fake. You don't know if you have the right people in your life. Or if you don't have the right people in your life. I'm just, you know, like, I'm not trying to beat myself up with this. This is why I just came to the water to just take a breather just breathe just breathe need to like continue thinking positive I need to continue knowing that God is right by me God got me certain things that I'm planning in my life may not be for me certain people that are in my life may not be for me what I may want in my life may not be what God got planned for me I just I just wanted to start my Sunday morning like very peaceful I feel like um because I keep battling with these thoughts in my head. I don't know. I don't know if I'm making the right decisions with certain things that I'm doing. Sometimes it feels like I am making the right decisions and other times it feels like, man, you're making the wrong decision. And it's like, I really don't know which side to believe but I'm just gonna leave it all in God's hands I'm just going to try my best to just be strong remain strong you know don't let the negative side win 
So I came to the water. Um, I bought one of my journals with me. Um, and on the front of it, it says, you are worthy of every good thing. I'm going to write a few things in this book and I'm going to release it. So let's go do that. Alright y'all, so I threw how I'm feeling and 
everything that I want to let go, I do it in the water. And I'm just going to let God take over control. I'm going to let God control. I'm going to let God take over. I'm going to let him. control my life and everything I let go just now I can't stress it no more I can't go back and forth for myself about it anymore I just have to let go and let God and just know that God hears me um, he hears me he hears me God hears me I just feel relaxed that I did that. Um, it's a helping technique. It helps to just write down how you feel or what's on your mind or anything that you just wanna let go and just let it go as you're writing it. Every, every word, every letter that you are writing, as you are writing, just let it go. Go. Oh my god, I feel a lot better. And I feel like I feel like my journey that is coming is going to be a bright journey and it's going to be a great future for um, my daughter, myself. It's going to be a very great future. I just gotta continue being positive, thinking positive, you know, stop dwelling on the negative because honestly, I am the one person who can attest to it. Like, when you think negative, negative things really do happen. It really do. And I see that because I'm so worried about things in my life that I think negative a lot like oh my god what if this happened oh my god I'm scared this is gonna happen it's gonna happen and then eventually it happens it may not happen right away but it will happen eventually because that's the only thing that you're thinking about which is negative so if you honestly I've, so honestly I'm just gonna start thinking positive and I guarantee positive things will happen in my life when I start moving and thinking positive and just being around positivity, just being happy and just in and just enjoying this life that God gave me. We all have one life to live and you have to live it, live it. You can't get your life back. You can't get yesterday back. The only thing you can do is just move forward, live in the present and live in tomorrow. Like you cannot live in the past. You can't fix it. There's nothing to be fixed anymore. It's the past for a reason. You just learn from it, you grow from it, and you do better from it. And that's what I'm planning on doing. Um, I'm not gonna dwell on the past anymore. I'm going to do better with that. I'm gonna do better with that. So I just wanted to show you guys at least one little step that I do to help me feel better and hopefully it helps one of you guys feel better out there. Oh no, now we can't photobomb you. Oh, you wanna <laughs> photobomb me? Go ahead. <laughs> All right, guys. So I'm walking back to my car because it's very hot out here. So I will continue the conversation. And so I am back in the car. It was getting very hot out there. So, I feel better, um, every word that I wrote down, I released, I released, and I feel so much better, so I feel like this is a nice way to start my week or just to reset my Sunday. Um, it's a start, I'm doing the steps, and I can only get better from here. I can only get better from here. I'm letting go of all the trauma, all the hurt, all the pain, all the toxicness. I'm just letting it go. Just let it go. 
why dwell on something that can't be fixed? Just forgive. Don't forget. We just move smarter now. As I also have to forgive myself because I let myself get to a certain point in life or not a certain point, I let myself continue to beat myself up, doubt myself, um, dislike myself, um, not believe in myself. I let myself do all of that to me because of how other people was treating me or how I allowed myself to be around certain people. Um, so I have to forgive myself. And honestly, this is just going to be a new start, a new journey to a bigger, brighter future. Uh, I don't, I'm not mad at myself for starting late. The things I had in my mind from when I was 20, 22, 23, I didn't do it, but better late than never, right? So I'm not mad at myself that I'm starting late on doing anything that can help better my future. I'm not mad at myself that I, I didn't think about doing this a couple years ago or, you know, think about relieving all the stress, all the anger, or letting go of people that's just not bringing positivity or just forgiving. I'm not mad at myself for not doing that. I'm just, I'm happy I'm starting. I feel good about what I just did. Um, so if anybody else is going some going through somewhat of what I may be going through or just need something to release, try writing something down and just throwing it into the water, burning it, something. But as you're writing down, make sure you are releasing everything that you are writing down. Thank you guys so much for tuning into this video. I hope this video helps someone as it is helping me. I'll see you guys in my next video. Later guys.